Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error saying Windows cannot find a driver for your network adapter. So if you're trying to locate a driver and it's not working properly, this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve the problem for you. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And you want to type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager right above control panel. You want to left click on that one time to open up device manager here. So now you want to expand the network adapter section, so double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it. So take note of wherever your network adapter is in here, you might need it later. So for right now, we're going to just right click on it. You want to click uninstall device, left click on uninstall. When you restart your computer, it should reset the network device and hopefully that should have resolved your problem. Now if that did not resolve the problem, I would also suggest looking and seeing if you have any restore points on your computer. In order to do that, all you have to do is head back to the start menu, type in system restore. One of the best matches should hopefully come back with create a restore point or something along those lines. So I'm going to select that. And now I'm going to left click on the system restore button where it says you can undo system changes by reverting your computer to a previous restore point. So like I said, I'm going to click on that button right there. Left click on next. I'm going to select the restore point I want to restore back to. Left click on next again and then just finish here to confirm the restore. And then again, once started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Left click on yes, this will begin system restore here, and hopefully that should have resolved your issue as well. So I do hope one of these methods I went through was able to fix your problem. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.